A box of handmade cards is not only a beautiful gift, but a very useful gift as well. Cards are a great gift for teachers, neighbors, and as an extra stocking stuffer for anyone on your list. But the key to making this project fun and quick is to go with a simple design. It's also important to not over embellish cards that you'll be using for gifts so there won't be any additional postage issues to worry about. Let me show you the tools and products we're going to use today to make this box of cards. I'm going to use three sheets of Gina K Designs Pure Luxury Ivory Heavy Base Weight Cardstock, one sheet of the Ivory Layering Weight Cardstock, two sheets of the Rocket Red Base Weight. I'm going to use some glue, and in this case I'm using a Glue Glider Pro. For the packaging, I'm going to need a bow, my bow easy, and a glue dot. And I'm also going to use a large clear box. And one did come in the Stamp TV Holiday Cheer Kit. So if you got that kit or you're planning to get that kit, you'll have a clear box for this project. I'm also going to use six ivory envelopes. And then I've got some patterned papers here. Now the ones that I've chosen are from the new Basic Gray Nook and Pantry collection. These are the six by six sheets and I'm using two sheets of three different patterns. Now I'm sure somewhere in your collection of pattern paper you can find three complementary pieces. If not, check out the freebies page at www.stamptv.com and there's plenty of beautiful digital papers that are collections and they all coordinate together and you can download one of them and print a few sheets out that way. Then I'm going to use some cutter bee scissors for cutting my ribbon. I'm going to need two punches. You can also use nestabilities for this job, but I really like the idea of punches when I'm doing a quick project because I can just pop them out real quick and I'm done with it. So here I'm using the Marvy Extra Jumbo Plain Circle and the Marvy Super Jumbo Scalloped Circle. And then I have some Gina K Design stamps, and the ones I'm using are from the Holiday Cheer Stamp TV Kit. This is the Holiday Greetings stamp set. And I'm, I've chosen three greetings, the birthday one, the thank you one, and the friendship one. An acrylic block and some ink. And I'm going to coordinate my ink with my paper, so I'm using the Vivid Brick and the Vivid Coffee Bean. So, now we're going to begin our project. And first, I'm going to show you how to cut the paper. To begin, I'm going to cut three pieces of cardstock. I'm using the Gina K Designs Pure Luxury Heavy Base Weight Ivory, and I'm going to cut three of them in half, and that will give me six card bases. So each card, each sheet of cardstock is going to be cut at five and a half inches. That's one, two, and three. Then my next step is I'm going to take some of the Gina K Designs textured base weight in Rocket Red and I'm going to cut six panels out of these two sheets of cardstock. The first cut I'm going to make is at five and an eighth of an inch. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, five and one eighth inches. And then I'm going to cut those at three and seven eighths inches. So that's two, three and seven eighths, three, four. Then I'm going to need one more sheet here. So I'm going to begin again by cutting that at five and one eighth inches, and then two cuts at three and seven eighths inches. Okay. So now I have my six red layering pieces to go along with my card bases. Now next, I'm going to take one more cut here at five inches. So this red leftover sheet, I'm going to cut it five inches. And then I'm going to cut, I'm going to make six one inch cuts across. So I'm going to start at 
seven and a half inches, six and a half inches, five and a half inches, four and a half inches, three and a half inches. It's one, two, three, four, five, and one more at two and a half inches. So now I have six strips that are going to go across the center of my card. Now I'm going to cut my patterned papers. My patterned papers are going to be cut first at five inches and then at three and three quarter inches. And I'm going to do that with all six sheets. Five inches and three and three quarter inches. And as you can see, these are all different. I've got three different really pretty patterns that all coordinate nicely together. Five inches, three and three quarter inches. Now the good news is you're almost done cutting all of the paper that you're going to need for this card project except for one little pattern paper strip that we're going to do right here at the end. And you can see how nicely you're making use of all of this paper too. All right, so those are my, these are my layering pieces and these are going to go on top of my red pieces. Now I'm going to take those strips that fell off the edge here, these strips right here, and now I'm going to First, cut them to five inches. Oh, they're already cut to five inches. Okay, I'm gonna cut these at three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna do two of each of the patterns. So that's one. And on this cutter, it's just the silver metal strip here that's three quarters of an inch. So I have two of those. And two of the pink ones. One. Two. And two of the brown ones, the lighter brown. And remember, you can use any kind of pattern paper that you want. What I'd suggest is that you pick something a little bit more generic, not necessarily holiday paper. Um, because when you're giving these as a gift to somebody, you want them to be able to use them for different events that are coming up in the future, like birthdays and thank yous. So you may want to go with some of your more generic patterns. Okay, so now that I've completed that cutting, let me get my paper cutter out of the way, and we're going to score our card bases. And I'm going to score my card base using my score pal. Whenever you're using heavy base weight cardstock, you do want to give it a little bit of an extra score. So I'm going to score these all at four and a quarter inches, and you can see on my score pal, I've put a little dot at four and a quarter inch, inches. Since that's such a popular place for me to score, I don't want to have to count or be unsure of where I am, and I just go right to the dot every time. And I just did that with a Sharpie marker. So I'm going to score that down a couple of times and fold my cards. It's three. Four. Five, and one more. There now all of my cards are scored and ready to be assembled.